the sum of the numbers in S is equal to the sum of the numbers in T, and we're trying to figure out if S has more numbers, more integers than T. And if you look at clue one, clue one says the average of the integers in S is less than the average of the integers in T. So, average of S is less than average of T. Okay, so that's going to work because, uh, of course, the, numer the way you find the average, you sum up all your numbers, you divide by however many you have. So we know that the numerators are the same because of this. But for the average to be of S to be less, that means, that means what? It means that, for example, if you had 40 over 3 and 40 over 2, see, when the numerators are the same, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the number is. So this would have to be the case where this number is larger than this number. And what does that mean? Well, the denominator is the number of numbers in the set. So that means does S contain more integers than T? Yep, it does. So clue one works. Clue two, the median of the integers in S is greater than the median of the integers in T. And that's not gonna work, because look, you could have like, let's, let me, let me move, uh, I guess I can move. Let me, let me move down here. Let's say S and T. S could be, integers could be one, two, three, four, and five. Of course, the median is three. And T could be one, 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 12. And here the median, one, those are all ones. The median is one. So three is bigger than one, so I'm using my clue correctly. But here I've got five numbers. And over here I've got three numbers. Or it could be I had one, two, and three. Medians two. And let T be one, 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 one. You could do that. One, whatever, eight, five, six. So median is greater, but you've got more numbers here than you do here. So clue two doesn't work. So your answer is A.